D's. Double D's. <laughs> I quite agree. <laughs> oh, I love these little intros. They're great. <laughs> they are wonderful. Let me just start it now. Double D. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I'm not very close. I like double D's. What? And I cannot lie. <laughs> Do what other brothers can deny. Uh, so welcome everyone to Tales of Fables and Fortunes here on Tales of Gaming Addiction, a uh, show where we sit around, play D&D, roleplay, and have a good lark. Um, I was going to say a quick announcement first, but I forgot what it was. Besides, I have a cold, but only in uh, one nostril. Can, can I make an announcement? Go we on. all seem to have good internet. Yes, yeah, that was the important so announcement. Please. I didn't want to jinx it, so it's on you now. Talk yeah. But I, I, <laughs> Don't just I am <laughs> pointing <laughs> at your Skype message right now with all the he venom in my hate. Can he get inspiration for a good impression of himself last week? <laughs> for the last few weeks. Although I found out something really awesome today. Um, my broadband may be improving dramatically in the summer. Woo! I'm in fact moving to the headquarters of Brom. <laughs> No, BT Open Reach are actually going to upgrade the cabinet. Oh! Some are at the earliest, but it will be definitely done by the end of next year. Is so, someone getting fibre? Maybe. I would just wait. There and say yeah, basically, you get fibre in the area, but then you have to wait like six months for them to actually get around to bloody checking yeah. the line. <laughs> that was pretty dope. But to be man. honest, I would, I would sit here and complain that, like, oh, it's tell where I am. I actually looked at all of Bedfordshire as far as. Like Central Bedfordshire Council are concerned, there are huge areas where essentially you will not be getting super fast broadband. <laughs> Fuck you in particular. <laughs> yeah. Around my way, it's not too bad. It's somewhere within the next year and year and a bit. Go out towards Basingstoke, you've got Basingstoke, and then any village around Basingstoke, you're screwed. You get nothing. It's wonderful. Is it Bang Basingstoke or Biggles Word? I can't remember. I am terrible with my local geography. <laughs> I don't even know what country I'm in. <laughs> so yeah, there was that one. Oh, and it's the other <coughs> bit of thing which people can see, and you guys see in the Skype chat. We have some fan art done by Tashi. Um, I'm going to put that up on the Facebook page like later on. <laughs> maybe, I don't know. I think maybe we should make a fan page. You know, like an actual... <laughs> Yeah, for people to go on, and then we all, can link that. All of us the... can like it. Yeah, yes. <laughs> but what I mean is, we can link it in below in the in the YouTube box. YouTube and then... in that wonderful description box that nobody ever reads. Yes. No. <laughs> and yes, on Twitter. Exactly. Yeah, and Twitter and all the social media outlets. But anyway, it's some cool fan art. I'm going to get rid of it now. No. It's okay. gone. It, it's been there for like four minutes. You've had all the time in the world to see it and admire oh, its beauty. Oh, you took this. Of the fantastic deer stalker that only appears on high investigation checks. <laughs> now we're going to explain why. It just happens. It. Who's the god of investigation? <laughs> You've got to take that armor, Tom, as well, you know? Yeah, I know. But I will. I will. <laughs> I will. <laughs> I can tell you right now, do not do like the whole black face paint stuff to make yourself look like a dark elf at any con. You'll go into the shower and you need to be in there for a good half an hour just to get it off. Yeah, well, I've got to put on obviously kind of like smoked ash kind of stuff for junk rat all over my face and forehead. <laughs> yeah, but you spend half an hour getting it off and then you spend a further 10 minutes washing the shower down so that nobody goes, what the hell happened? Um... Anyway, besides all that cosplay shenanigans, um, recap. Yes, that's a recap last week. So, last week, our wonderful party of insane <coughs> adventurers. Insane. It's the only way to describe you. Like You're the only ones that are willing to poke a very high-ranking lord. <laughs> and poke with him with a really pointy stick. With my pointy nipples. <coughs> yes. Yeah, you plan to blackmail <coughs> the mayor of Venovia for basically being in the service of Lord Cranbrook. 
Jack, I'm dragging you all over to this map. Uh, okay. As like part one of your plan, and try and find a way of removing him, uh, Lord Cranbrook, from power. And you went to his manor house and met with him, and were invited to dinner, and found out that Tashi uh, Trim's father is in his employ, he's like his personal house servant. He's very tired, very worn out, but Cranbrook has a lot of affairs, after all he owns quite a lot of the city, a mine, and now an entire village. <laughs> uh, I was waiting for a yeah. remark from Tashi, but of course there's no face cams. Yeah, no, um, I'm, I'm just like, oh man, why, why would you do this? <laughs> so, but, yeah. yeah, you know, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> all that stuff happened, and then you guys, uh, in the second half of last week, went to the party. At which point, he had a grandiose speech about uh, what his plans were. Namely, he was going to throw everybody back to the villa. Uh, he was going to turn Trim's village into his new villa grounds. The current site you're all on would be demolished to make way for a new mine operation in the city. And he is now Lord Mayor. So, rip. yeah, Rip trying to oust him from power when he is power. He's feeling very special. I am power. And unlimited power. Unlimited power. I just zoomed out on the map. And your excellent edition of WC on it is very funny. <laughs> yes. Yes. Because that was one of the questions of like, where's the bathroom? There. This corner. There. This is a really inconvenient place for a bathroom. Uh, <laughs> like, you see the if... architectural plans of the villa. Actually, and, and you've got all the statues and the WC. Of villas, like, <laughs> the lavatories were pretty damn close to the dining area because, yeah, major sure calls, you've got to run for it. Not true. a lot of people wore underwear. <laughs> Underwear is a very modern thing, don't you know? Anyway, well, yeah, but butt clenching is not. No. But anyway, uh, the third thing for his grandiose speech was the announcement of his silver bastion, to which are the wonderful yeah. knights arranged along the wall. That was it. Jin or Jurathil that noticed them walking about the city. Jurathil. I was yeah, hanging on a yes. tether. I can't okay, remember, it's one of you two, because one of you two doesn't like sleeping in the inn for whatever reason. You seem very paranoid about inns. To tank money. <laughs> Either way. Uh, so, yeah. These guys are wearing brilliant steel, uh, like mirror shine and all the rest of it. <coughs> and their helms have a single gemstone in the top. You guys were debating about what they were for, and Trim noticed that her pappy was one of these. These silver bastions. And when we last left you all, uh, Jinsuku and Jurathil were off sneaking around. So we shall yes. pick up the action right there. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> <laughs> with with sneaky ninja team. Gentlemen. Right. Uh, if you're I... going to be sneaking about, can I have some stealth checks off you? Oh shit! Oh shit! Not rolls! I can't do rolls! Yep. This is a Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> what do I get? Hey, it's alright. Oh, Somehow, awesome. the monk is stealthier than the assassin. Yeah, I was just, I was just about a joke saying, wait for the shittiest <laughs> stealth roll that I have, I'll ever throw this night tonight. <laughs> I've got higher decks than him. I'm plus five on stairs. Does this mean that he's currently walking off with Jin's stalk deer stalker hat? No, 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 no. The, the deer stalker's <laughs> only no, for investigation. investigation. Yeah, stay at stalks on the investigation. Because oh. does you get slippers? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you don't. You don't really get slippers. You just get. You go barefoot into yeah. a corridor full of glass. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> Enjoy. The deer stalker is like aesthetically advantageous. Yeah. Anyway. Um, Anyways. Uh, yeah, you two feel pretty stealthy and you're sneaking about the uh, corridors right. of the now abandoned uh, Jin, villa. Jin, okay, okay. Um, I'm gonna stand out here and uh, you sneak in there. If I see anyone coming, I'll make a loud noise and go, Oh, how can this happen? Okay. Alright, uh, so not gonna be kind of like 
signaling like a bird or an owl. No, that I mean, I mean, which is more, which are you more likely to hear? Me whistling like the local wildlife, or me breaking something and screaming? Yes, but at least with the wildlife, they'll be kind of just mad. fucking come in the room. Fine, 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 fine. <laughs> I love you two so much for that interaction. <laughs> We're screwed. It's <laughs> the best door thing door. ever. Door door. Door door. What? What? Which door? There's two. Is it like, t- uh, is it two separate doors to two separate rooms? Or... Yes, there are two se- door. separate doors to two separate rooms. The one closest to me. Meeny, miny, mo, cash. You're using my method of... <laughs> choosing things. It, it, Can I check for traps you, first it, to see if any of them are trapped? Not you. Don't <laughs> <let's look at laughs> it. Can I deciding? Can I check the one it's gonna go into for traps? Oh, or, or make they... a perception oh. check for me for trap search. A perception check. Oh, yeah, right. perception. Perception. Fourteen. You feel confident that there are no traps on the door. Right. Bounce You're in boy. someone's house. Why would he trap his own building? I don't know. Not a home alone style. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, open the door. Paint can comes swinging out and smash the face. <laughs> the doorknob is really hot. <laughs> quite warm, actually. That also, be careful. The stairs are a bit slippery. <laughs> Anyways, uh, you open the door, yeah? I was about to say, is the door locked? No, it is not locked. Huh? Okay. Why would you I lock something to the Well, you never know. It could be important private confidential information within. It's this massive porn collection. Are you yeah. ready? I'm ready. To open the door, what you see inside mm. is a small kitchen. Uh, a small kitchen. It's actually quite a large kitchen. Oh. We have two stoves on the back wall. Currently, no one's about because all the food is now served and out the front. <coughs> but you can see on the tables and that there's like leftovers, so cold cuts of ham, a bowl full of stew, that big sort of What do you food. see in there, big guy? Nothing, nothing. No, no biscuit tins. No biscuit tins. <laughs> no, no, definitely no biscuit tins at all. Oh, oh, shucks. I could have really done with a biscuit. Well, you might as well go to the next room then. I just have this image now of Jirithu, of Jin going in. Jirithu asking, like, what's in there? And Jin coming going, nothing whilst eating a turkey leg. <laughs> 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 nothing at all. <laughs> Holding a flask of ale and eating yeah. <laughs> Blimey. Do oh. I see anyone? If I peek around the corner, can I see anyone or anyone coming? Nope. It's all quiet. Okay. You can hear, like, chatter and music and laughter from the, uh... In the dining hall. Room. Yeah. Is there, like, any, um, things like, I don't know, a hat stands nearby? <laughs> no, there is no hat or coat stands nearby. Like, you know, any anything knock overable. Not really. Man, this guy's really pragmatic. I quickly just nip back in here and come back out with a plate. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Dorothy <laughs> beautifully holds the plate. <laughs> you have a wonderful it's creamware plate. <laughs> You're the waiter. <laughs> I check the plate for traps. <laughs> Got a mouse trap on it. Uh, okay. oh. Next room. 23, is it trapped? <laughs> no, it's not trapped. You get no XP for that. In fact, you lose XP. <laughs> I didn't realize we got XP. <laughs> oh. So, yeah. So, Jin, you're going for, towards this door. Yep. Second door. What's behind door number two? Tune well, in. This, this one is locked. <gasps> okay. Da, 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 da. Right. Oh, where's my lock picking kit? You uh, just have to dexterity. Yeah, it's dexterity plus proficiency plus two. Proficiency. I think for these tools. 
Uh, yeah, I think it is. Huh? I will turn around and reach for my player's handbook, but ugh. Let me turn yeah, that's around. Yeah, I'm proficiency. I'm pretty sure, yeah, you do dexterity roll and add your proficiency bonus. Ugh. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh, that's not good at all. Uh, you managed to jim the lock and snap. The lockpick breaks. Oh no! Doesn't Can you get jammed in the lock though. That's nice. Well, I don't leave any evidence. <coughs> how's it going over there? I mean, how's it going over there? <laughs> I need a small statue and a running start. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I can find Trim. <laughs> it's okay. We'll just use your head. <laughs> I DON'T WANT TO USE MY HEAD! <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you for getting that! <laughs> I got that reference, but I also had the thought of you guys talking and then Trim randomly sneezing. Yeah, oh, how very Japanese. <laughs> someone someone I mean, must be talking about you. I mean, can, can, I, 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 yeah, recommend... can I sneeze while they talk about me like, Achoo! Yes, yes you can. <laughs> what, is someone talking about you then? Um. Who are we talking about? Oh my god. Trim. Anyway, um, I think if, we, if you can't get the door open, you know, if it's too hardcore for even your thievery skills, then we should just move on because we don't want to try and leave evidence. Yeah, you can sure always you try again. Those... Yeah. Enough. Let's try again. Behind DC, I guess. Okay, you can try again, I guess. Again. Well, Tom just rolled badly. Oh, that's not a minute. Do you know what? I will give it to you. It, you're, you're close Praise enough. Yeah. Praise him. Oh, was it 15? <laughs> yeah. <coughs> yeah, with a bit more jiggly poker, you managed to click the lock open. Always jiggly your pokers. Indeed. Jiggly, jiggly poker. my poker. <laughs> Do you That's open not... the door? Check the trash. Yes. That's a loaded but question. I, <laughs> carefully open it. Okay. Do so you There's carefully open the door? In there. You see before you this rather large study with a fireplace along the back wall. It's currently at a low fire, almost on the point of going out, but if you chuck a couple of logs, it would reheat. Uh, along the wall next to you is a workshop with a finished helm and a gemstone already set in. And a couple of writing desks, a small chest, and a chair sat in front of the fireplace. Alright, um... I'm going to re-roll my stealth, just in case there is something in here. Go for it. That I'm not aware of. Don't fail me now, stealth. Natural one. <gasps> oh! Even so Jesus. Turn to Aldo, I'm literally not there. <laughs> well, I was going to say, Durothil, you poke your head around the corner if you... Sure, I'll make a perception check. Yeah, is it... Why well, no, just passively, it's like, well, didn't you... you... <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess he's gone then. <laughs> Fucking team. You feel fairly confident that he's stealthed away. He's not been captured. I am prepping my deer stalker. <laughs> Concentrating, ready for the deer stalker. To be blessed. Alright, so within this room, I can see. Is that one? There are three, two, uh, four desks. Three of them actually right. have stuff on. This okay. one. Yeah, over here currently has nothing on it. Yep, that one. And then the one to your left. Get busy. Okay, I am going to go clockwise direction. So. Okay, starting at this front. Yep. Lovely. Investigate the tables. While he's doing that, can I see anyone coming? You still see no one coming. Okay, good. That's gonna be... If the minute, like, someone appears, <laughs> I would like to sneeze and drop my plate. <laughs> Okie dokes. Um, Jin, as you're examining the table, you find some notes strewn about, but they're all sealed letters and whatnot. And the table itself is just a fine oak table. 
As is the chair. <clears throat> in fact, the chair is rather nice to sit in. It's got good lumbar support. Um, is this kind of table, um, I don't know, is, does it have just, you know, plain hollow underneath? Or are we talking like almost... You can't tell desk your kind of. investigation. To you, it just looks like a nice oak desk. Okay. Nothing is out of the ordinary. This is mahogany! <laughs> Um, what the hell kind of voice was that? <laughs> he's, he's obviously caught something. Okie doke, so nothing that is noticeable. There's yep. no kind of like secret little traps, you know, switches, not no, that no, underneath no. the desk. Why would you trap your own not, desk? Not as far as you can see. <laughs> your own okay. home. Uh, is that a chest? Just there? That chest is currently locked. That chest is currently locked. Indeed. Try to open it, it doesn't budge. It does have a nice simple padlock holding it closed. Very well. Um, I will attempt to do another pick. Hello. <coughs> click, 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 No oh, insane. And the lock pops open. Inside, <laughs> you find... Um, People can cue the Zelda music if they so desire. Da, 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 da. <laughs> uh, you find a pouch with some. You find fifty-six. Fifty-six silver pieces. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, you find also five scrolls. Oh. Of what you do not know. Because they are spell scrolls and they will take time to read and understand. Five. Oh, yeah. And lastly, 35 gold pieces in another bag. Oh. Along with a receipt. <laughs> yeah, quite literally, a receipt. Ye old star receipt. Uh, Stating 35 okay. gold for payment of services. See, I am tempted to take all of this, but it would give a clear indication that someone has been in this room. Just do it. <laughs> Don't let your memes be dreams. See, I, I, I can tell this small, evil little devil on my shoulder. <laughs> oh, it's not the little problems. devil on the shoulder, it's the larger one next to it. It's also saying, take it. <laughs> um, do it! See, I want to leave a little bit behind, so just in case someone does look back, like, look in there, it you doesn't look like it. Gold. It's too, too <laughs> little left. Right, so if I take three of the skulls and um... silver or gold, they're in separate pouches. Take I'm the gonna receipt. take the gold. That's true. Take the receipt. I'll take the gold and the receipt, because obviously then they can't prove that they had the gold. Lovely. Exactly. <laughs> okay, so I'll take three of the scrolls and the gold and the receipt. Fantastic. Going well. Right, I shall add that to my inventory. <laughs> Bless you. Well muted. <laughs> Excuse me while well, I just mute myself so I can see. <laughs> yeah, apologies for that, guys. My Skype is not hotkeyed. OBS, OBS is hotkeyed. It's a mute. Anyways, uh, June, what else Next. are you doing in this room? Uh, two seconds. I'm still typing up my. <laughs> That's right. I've taken out of what you've taken. It's going to be interesting later on when you finally sit down to read those scrolls. Thank God. Uh, uh, say my gold. Just hit we don't die horribly. Oh, you will be fine. You won't die horribly. Uh, <laughs> you'll just be met with heavy consequences. Unforeseen consequences. I don't like heavy consequences. I'm not very strong. Right. I can't. Right, so... Next desk. 
All right, then. Yeah. Give me another investigation on this right. one. Deer stalker. Uh, praise be the deer stalker. Praise the deer stalker. Hey, that's not bad. Hey, <coughs> that's actually quite good. Um, this one's more like an arcane style workbench. So there's like um, some half-finished spell scrolls and all the rest of it. Some of them you you recognise some of the spell work before. It's um, things like the a warlock's eldritch blast and magic missiles. Oh. And all sorts of things. And as you're milling about, oh. you notice that the inkwell is connected to a mechanism. It's fake. It has no ink in it whatsoever. Very well. So I shall go clickety clickety click. What's behind the door? Or drawer or whatever secret compartment this is clearly uh, Right. That moves across to there. <laughs> as you pull on the ink while you hear it go click click hear the sound of shifting stone winding gears uh, uh, nothing at all you know quiet <laughs> oh no it's <laughs> quite loud I, I could just hear Dorothal coughing in the corridor <coughs> <coughs> trying so hard to cover up all this noise sorry guys <coughs> I've, got, I've got a cough but in one nostril shut up Right, is my stealth still in check for this next room? Yep. It's like a very steep staircase down. I'm wondering what kind of sex dungeon this guy has now. Oh, God. Um, I not... have a room. A right, special I room. need to make the first anxiety <laughs> biscuit my... check of the day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, do, I'm, I'm assuming you go down the stairs. Yeah. And into Tentative. this... <laughs> yes, tentatively is a good idea. As you go down the stairs into the secret dungeon, before you sits two suits of armour that you've seen before. They're the full suit for a silver bastion. Hello. 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 Is it me you're looking for? We're good? We good? We good, Christy? You good? That's worrying. That's very worrying. Major very Tom worrying. calling Christy. <laughs> this is Major Tom to ground control. I'm up here, sitting in my tin can. There she goes. Ah, uh, there we go. You back? No, back. Skype just dropped her. Ah. She will rejoin when she's ready. Well. Don't explain why she ran him and went hello. And definitely. Alright, <coughs> right, calm down, David Bowie. Bow, oh, bow, 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 Whilst bow. we wait for Chris to come back, I'll continue describing this room to you. Uh, so, before you sit, two suits of armor that look like the full silver bastions, they're just missing the gem in the helmet. To the left, you see shackles along the wall. I mean, this place is really well kept, it's not like anyone's held down here, it's just more of like a restraining pit. And across the way is a very large wooden chest. Is there any loose stones nearby for me to pick up and just trundle there across the There are a couple, floor? yes. Can I do that? Yep. So you pick one up and like flicking it across the... Yeah. Okay then. So you pick it up and flick it across the floor. Nothing seems to happen. Just click, 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 click. That's it. There we go. <laughs> Welcome back. Yay. For some reason, my um, my <coughs> Wi-Fi was still going, but the but Skype like went, nope. No, no, no. The all the connection went because all the it just must be my connected to the PC. Stuff, it also there? just might be your router itself just going, whoops, drop signal for a second. Because mine does that yeah. occasionally as well. So you still have internet access technically. But nothing's syncing up properly. We found his sex dungeon. Yeah, I got that far. <laughs> <laughs> so, Tom, you sneaky little rogue, you, what are you going to do now? I think it's a. Uh... Actually, just trundle across the side and edge of this room, <coughs> step by step, waiting for that DM. 
evil you, you, you assume I'm going to be evil. I've actually been a really nice DM. Hoping my stealth makes me completely invisible. <laughs> you feel nice and stealthy. I get to the chest. Okay. <coughs> it's a nice wooden chest. Quite a locked big one, too. Not locked, locked actually. There is no Not lock on locked. it. Uh, can I do an investigation prior to attempting to open it, just to make sure there's no clear signs of traps or anything? Yes, you can. And he got a 14. Uh, there doesn't appear to be any traps around it. Right, oh, I'm now doing my best Indiana Jones impression. I was just looking at it, scratching my neck, my scratching jaw. The, where the beard would be. Doing There's the whole thing. And just slowly begin to lift it up. The lid. Lift it. <laughs> Not okay. lift the whole thing. <laughs> I found a chest, I'm bringing it up! <laughs> <laughs> it's friggin' huge, it takes up five foot square. <laughs> Five by five it's like a chair. small chair. <laughs> a small chair? Yeah, a small chair. Goes not 0 to 60 chair. in two seconds. This the is most not... powerful chair. Powerful chair in, in the, the world. world. At least 12 horsepower. Did you know horses have four horsepower? Yep. One each leg. <laughs> the entire horse. Wait, anyway, Karen. <laughs> Anyway, uh, as you open the chest very gently, nothing seems to happen until you get the lid all the way up and then an alarm bell just rings. You can't see the string or anything like that. It just starts going off. Oh, shit! <coughs> uh, Durothil, make a perception... In fact, all of you make perception checks for me, apart from Jin. Perception? Like, yes, okay. perception. Okay. That's the same thing, one. As for perceiving Eleven. Ground, I can't see shit. Uh, it's cool. not necessarily seeing, it's also hearing. Ah, well I can't hear shit either. <laughs> and smelling oh, and tasting. It's literally how you perceive the world. Oh, frick. Congrats. You always push be hard. What about Bob? Uh, yeah, let's do Bob's. I haven't actually done a lot with Bob, I feel bad. He's just been sitting there feeling fancy in his pimp suit. <laughs> Tossing up one fancy. Form, still has. Ding. Oh god. Yeah, Bob don't. Bob's too busy eating and <laughs> enjoying the music. Bob's got yeah, his Bob's finger up his nose. <laughs> face. Uh, but I yeah. Do a perception or? Yes. Yes, yeah. you as well, please, Shinju. Perceptions all around, apart from Tom, because he's right next to the source. Oh, good lord. I know I fucked up. <laughs> no. Oh my god. Oh, how am I gonna. Oh no. Okay. Shinji, you faintly hear this. <laughs> this is very faint dinging bell. You can't tell if it's a ringing bell or just someone being really shaky with cutlery. Would I not hear it being closer? Break, begin a no. speech. <laughs> no, but like the sound of the music and the party is drowning out all that you can hear in that corridor. Oh, blimey. But for Jin, after a few moments, the sound dissipates. Fucking crap, I said man. <laughs> and inside the chest, there isn't all that much. It's uh, a couple of bits of sheet steel, ready to be made into armour at some point. Uh, a longsword. And a small ring buried right at the bottom. Take the ring. <sighs> Calm down, Smeagol. Have you been in the chocolate tin again? I've had about six. <sighs> Smeagol. I'm. I was anxious. <laughs> Although, considering what I've been rewatching really lately, it's more abstract. Have you been having those <coughs> orange sherbet fancies? Damn. Yeah. 
Uh, that kid is a Doctor Who me. reference. To talk about. I was just trying to speak. Right. Uh, right. So, yeah. Uh, as you do that, this ought to be fun. Uh, what do I want? I want that. Are people coming? Oh, God. <laughs> They're not coming very stealthily, I can tell you that. <laughs> it's it's not so much like coming in stealthily. Um, as coming like, out stealthily. Dun dun dun! Yeah, pretty much. Um, as you're like rummaging well, around and you grab that ring, the two suits of armour have moved. Oh, oh. Oh, shit. <sighs> Get the fuck out of there, man! <laughs> Let's have some initiative then. Let's get some combat going. It's been a while. Uh, roll initiative, Tom. Just oh, just Tom. Yeah, just Tom. Oh, you don't know. Prepare, 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 prepare. fucking get in here. <laughs> if you hadn't said that last part, you would have completely ignored you. Oh, that's a really loud burst. <laughs> Where the hell's a peacock on in this room? I I start running as fast as I can. Okay then. In which case then, you two roll initiative for me, please. Oh shit! We talk about fairish. Meanwhile, it's... everyone's enjoying the meal. Yeah. Meanwhile, yeah. you guys are happily sitting in the party room, shouldn't you? You've heard that very faint alarm bell, but you don't know what to make of it. I'm too deeply in concentration of detect magic. <laughs> Oh, you, wow. look, you look drunk, but really. This ought to be good. <laughs> uh, right. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, Tom, you are going <laughs> first. We can't fight two of them by ourselves. Right. Um... Hello, Tom? Yeah, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm strategizing here. It just it went very quiet, and I'm not used to that. Okie doke, I would suggest by starting would with hitting. Broadsword that's in the chest be more powerful than my rapier. Long sword. Uh, it's a long sword, so I think it's about the same off the top of my head. Cough, he's a rogue, he can't use it because it's a martial weapon. Cough. That too. He doesn't get proficiency in him. <coughs> but uh, rapier is a martial weapon as well. Uh, no, 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 he does have martial weapon proficiency. Oh, he does! Does he? Oh, carry on then. We might get Because, to my knowledge, rogues do. I should go double check. Oh, no, it's cool. You carry on. I can't remember if it's him being an elf or rogue. Either way, depending on how you want to look at things, it's about the same. I'm wondering if I can just need dual hand. Yeah, pull part this long sword and pull out my rapier and go, ha ha! <laughs> no, you cannot do that. Damn. Alright then, so, um. Uh, oh, he does have, he has proficiency in long swords, yeah. Rogues have proficiency in simple weapons, long swords, rapiers, and short swords. Yeah. There you go. Sorry, my bad. Um. Now, anything from my cunning action that I can use? The dash, disengage, or hide? Uh, dash allows you to take your movement to full. Yeah. So you can do like a 30 foot full movement as a bonus action. Uh, what were the other two? Disengage allows you to move away from an enemy without provoking attacks of opportunity. You have to be next to them though. Yeah. And then I forgot what the third one was. Oh, hide. What was it? Oh, hide. <coughs> if um, he's behind cover, he yeah. Can use if you hide. can like duck behind something, you can try and re-stealth yourself. <laughs> Good old Skyrim style. <laughs> Must have been the wind. Hide <laughs> sight. Okay, date. So. And that door sales coming through that door in a second. You don't know that. If true. I was to move here, oh, perhaps, perhaps would that provoke a nope. opportunity attack for the, of, from the No, no, it would only provoke if you move to 
uh, this square yeah. here. Because you'd be passing through his threatened area. Uh, they threaten all this space around them. I can either try and aim for the door and quickly lock them in, or I'm going to have to engage. Uh, I'll just open up the way out for you that doesn't provoke. Whoops. And I'll show it to you as well. I'm a bad DM. Yeah. Oh, uh, you, you have, just okay. stupidly show me that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, before I go, I'm going to grab the ring and then just dart, make a dart. Yeah, action. this, this all kicks you off like, as before? soon as you open the box, and like, reach, I assume you reach and grab the ring. Yeah, so yeah. And, like, I instinct off. Oh, Christ. A lot of the up. I, I followed your path of no opportunity. <laughs> Done. That's the spirit. And I'm going to try and lock it as quickly as possible through the door. <laughs> what the shit did you do? Uh, Don't hey, go count. down Ten, there, my dear fellow. Um, a slight sex dungeon-esque. <laughs> How much movement Look, have I've seen got? some sex dungeons in my time. <laughs> Ten. Why did you scream like a bird? What kind of sex dungeon was it? get you to there. If he went around the edge. Where was it? He, if he went diagonally there. Yeah, but then um, that square there is in their threatened area, so they would have yeah. gotten an attack of opportunity. So. Actually, oh, no. Right. He could have gone straight from there. So yeah. Yeah, it's fine. You, you'd take yeah. out of the room. <laughs> I'm just seeing <laughs> a full-on laser ray going. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you managed to make it out of the room. And I'm going to lock it as quickly as I <coughs> dive through. <laughs> do you have enough action to do so? He does still have a standard action. So you okay. drop the inkwell back down, the desk slowly slides back across. I don't like the word slowly. I'm, I'm half expecting the silver hand to go. <laughs> yeah. No, no, it takes its sweet time to go across. Which means you guys now can't see this bit. <sighs> Look what you've done, he's covered a room now. <laughs> this ought to be good. Uh, long short, the story short. Sex dungeon. Sex dungeon? <laughs> yeah, sex dungeon. <laughs> um, slightly... Did you check out everything in this room? I have not been <coughs> checking out the entirety of this room. Um, okay, as you guys are having this conversation, by the way, the desk does give a sudden jerk. Oh, God. Uh, do so. Hi. Um, we may have a minor little situation potentially developing behind <sighs> this wall. I swear to... <coughs> Okay. Um, now, have you ever seen the movie Mummies? Because <laughs> <laughs> these guys don't use doors. <laughs> Can I um, quickly. Hang on. Let me just see how much mirror I've got. Oh, yeah, I can do this, whatever. Um, take the chair behind us and, like, jam the door into the hallway shut with it? Yeah, you can do that. <coughs> the door did open inwards. I mean, good point, actually. Does the door open inwards? It does. I did say it does open inwards. Yeah, yeah okay. so I came in that way. Alright, I do that, so I move... I'd say it's my bonus action, because, you know, fair enough. Yeah, I mean, you, you, you can feet, run past and grab the chair, so I'll probably... 15 feet, and back to where I was. You have an insane feet. amount of movement. I do, yeah! <laughs> Ridiculous. Actually, no, yeah, uh, yeah, actually, I do all that and get back to where I was. In there you six go, seconds, literally. Be right back. <laughs> Locked door. Zip. Hey. I I wait for death. <laughs> uh, can I take on. a can I take a glance around the room to see if I see anything important? Uh, make a perception check for me. Sure thing. Perception. Uh, there we go. Uh, six. Oh, I one. see. Fuck all. 
The fireplace looks like a good idea. I'm going to stick my head in that. Yep. <laughs> About 15 minutes one side and flip over for the other 15. <laughs> uh, Jin, it's your go. Um, so the desk... Is the desk still moving or still jerking? Oh, don't jerk. <laughs> What did you say? Sorry, I was blowing my nose. I was saying, is the desk still threatening to potentially blast off into yeah, the <laughs> general direction of this wall? Uh, not at this moment in time. Not at this moment in time. But you have noticed it's like it jerked quite hard. Um, this chair here. Yes. Can we prop it against this point here? Because <laughs> this looks quite a heavy chair from the looks of it. It is Plastic. quite a heavy chair. Uh, if you're going to lift that, you're going to need to make a strength check. It's <coughs> quite a hefty thing. It would be useful if I had another person in here to give me a hand. I'm <laughs> scared of me! <laughs> He's just glancing at Duraphil, who managed to <laughs> zip across the room. Look. I know I've got the pole of the time in small country, but honestly, thank you. <laughs> See, right. I just moved that chair. Did I do that uh, myself, you said about it, we were like, oh wait, you can't move it. Uh, a that? 16, it's hefty, it takes you, like, your full action, but yeah, you can lift it, but you can't quite move it back yet. I don't think, anyway. Uh, 20. You can 10. move back to where your character currently sits. Alright then, so imagine me holding the chair at this moment in time. Wait a second. There we go. Go. And I'll Whoop. drop it. Whoop. Whoop. <laughs> That's right, if I drop it to that layer, it's not too distracting. I, I've seen, as I'm walking past the door, so at this point, I just give him that glancing look of. <laughs> I guess I'll have to do it myself. Dragging then. it across the floor. Just, Don't help then! I've got this! <laughs> I'm just. I'm raising an eyebrow at the noises. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Oh god. Uh, wrong layer. I want that layer. But oof. <gasps> no! Wow. My plan. Oh shit, god. Shut <laughs> up. All thanks to you, Darzel. You gotta give me a bloody hand there. Do it, Long suffering. <laughs> Long suffering now comes to end. So yeah, as you're dragging that chair across, there's this almighty thud and smash. <laughs> as you're sitting there, like holding this stone throne, just watch as the tail gets thrown across that five foot rail it sits on. The stairs <coughs> appear, and oh, we can reach. Lovely. Rip. <laughs> Oh. This large suit of armor appears. No! Animated arm is tough, man. We're pretty fucked. <laughs> and he's going to smack you across the face. Oh. What about the jam tarts? This is how serious the situation is. <laughs> oh, talk about jam tarts. You also have jam tarts. Yeah, you have become one. Uh, a I believe 20 is a hit against you. <laughs> uh, take three points of bludgeoning damage. One. Tell me, do they throw missiles that I can deflect? <laughs> no. That would be cool. Have I just been slapped with a, you know, a gauntlet? Pretty much, yes. Punch. You've been backhanded right. by a gauntlet. Clang. Good sir, how dare you challenge me to a fight? <laughs> Indeed. The other one is still set, like, on the stairs where he forced the, the uh, desk over. Oh. Use up his action. Okay. Alright. Hey, Dorothil, it's your go. I can do this, mate. There's a suit of armor. <coughs> Just slap Jin in the face. Okay. Oh, I move here. And I, too, would like to um, engage in violence. Oh, no. Dragon Pole, two handed. Fwa. Does a 19 hit? Uh, a 19 oh, no. does hit. Hurrah. Yes. For nine points of bludgeoning damage. And then, unarmed strike. Hoah! 
Does a 16 hit? 16 misses. You slam in oh, with your own arm strike. It hits the armor, makes a nice hollow thud. Well, clang, Dog. not a thud. <laughs> and doesn't do anything. Okay, great start. I stand there and look intimidating. <laughs> with, my, with my with my beautiful toga and my exposed nipple. With single exposed nipple as well. <laughs> Roll for intimidation. <laughs> Is the single exposed nipple glistening in the firelight? Exactly. <laughs> like it's casting a rather beautiful shadow across his the chest. The chest hair ripples in the with the shock waves of my attacks. Yeah. It, Starts waving like long grass in a summer breeze. Tell me, is the animated armor intimidated by my masculinity and machoism? Doesn't care. The expression's rather wooden. Tell me, is this animated armor a pussy? You'll have to wait and see. <laughs> Anyways, Jin! It's your go. Well, shit's happening, so I best deliver some shit in any case. <laughs> Rapier. Amazon drone it. Uh, oh. 14 is a miss. Although. I can hear the regret of the AC of this creature's right now in Brian's voice. <laughs> no, no, it's not that at all. Does he get advantage with this because of sneak attack? Or am I thinking of something else? Yeah. Yeah. No, he does additional damage if he hit. Ah. Uh. I want to double check. Because he's an assassin, if the armor yeah. hadn't attacked yet, he would have got advantage. But the armor has very much attacked him. So. Yeah. Yeah, no, I was, I was thinking for the sneak attack, but it's for the extra damage. <laughs> ah. So, sadly, a 14 is a miss. Do you want to do anything with your bonus action? My bonus action. I was waiting for the I disengaged run. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't because Dorsa is blocking his bloody move. Yeah. Oh, sting. Oh, God. Just nice. He wanted a fight. Dorsa wanted a fight, didn't he? That's why he bloody locked the door. Yeah, we can't fucking leave, though, because there's going to be fucking armor walking around. Yeah, right. but at least they've seen the others and had a bit more of a, you know, decent fight. Yeah, but they've seen your face. Boys, oh, calm down. Right. They're inanimate. They don't I call. Don't call. The, the one that you hit earlier yes. gets to make two melee attacks, both against oh, no. Jin. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> Swings Ow. him with one, he misses. The second one connects right in your rib cage. Solid blow, take, and you take eight points of bludgeoning damage. This is what happens to us though, when you go lock the door, I go and get broken ribs. We can get out whenever we want to. The chair's Actually, in the way! I wonder if you would get broken ribs. Probably yeah. not. A bruise at most. Yeah, just, you're hopeful. Uh, we'll see, let's see what the critical damage table has. Loss of limb, probably. Uh, what was it? A two? Two. Oh, oh no! It's much worse. Oh no! Um, <laughs> how... <laughs> Haven't I now? So no, um, he doesn't actually go for your rib cage for that critical hit. <coughs> he reaches out, like grabs your hand, and crushes it. <gasps> you can no longer hold anything with two hands. You've lost the hand. <laughs> I only hold... it. Looks like I'm going to have to fight this with my left hand. <laughs> can only hold a single object at a time, regenerate, but will also allow rest lesser restoration to uh, fix say, your hand. Yeah. This crit table's a bit harsh for these levels. To be fair, now, it adds all a I'm, challenge. All I'm now thinking is Deadpool versus yeah, Colossus. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Colossus. Yes. I've now got a broken hand and I'm just looking at it. <laughs> okay, I regret this immediately. Get out of oh, there. It's a shame that you didn't like muck up an attack beforehand, unarmed strike it, just go cup shot, Kong! <laughs> <laughs> Your poor wife! <coughs> oh, anyway, uh, the other one though gets only a single attack against Jurathil. 
I'm so small. Hey, that misses. Yeah, it misses you. Goes to double fist you and swings wide. When I hit I, it, how I, how injured did it look by my single attack? Uh, by the single hit, it dented it quite nicely. Can I flip the bird to um, Dorotho as he gets, you know, yeah, as he misses that attack? Oh, with a broken hand, you can't. <laughs> well, obviously, you're not with my broken hand. Okay. Um, oh, God. Do I weigh up the life of my friend for the, for the opportunity to be cool? Hmm. Mm. Can you drop that plate now? <laughs> I've already... Yeah, good point, actually. Um... <laughs> <laughs> You're still holding this plate. <laughs> yeah, I'm juggling it while I attack. <laughs> Look, you hear this plate, Matt. <laughs> exactly. Uh, I don't know what... Okay, I think I do know what to do, actually. Okay, then. I would like to... Oh, Tom's gone. From um, the game. Yeah, I'm actually being hit by you. Back button on my mouse. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've done that before. The duo of the Naga, anyway. Yeah, um, right. Death Hunter. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. Um, uh, so I Dragon Pole, the one attacking Jin. Uh, okay, 10 damage. That's a solid amount of damage. Okay. Makes a nice side um, thud. Dong. And you actually <laughs> buckle a bit of the uh, chest plate. And then I <coughs> like to make a floaty of blues. Um, so I make two unarmed strikes. I like to make another one versus the one attacking Jen. Oh yeah. Ooh. Okay, twenty-three solid hit. It's <coughs> a bit mangled now. Um, and it has to make a. What's it? Let's uh... say a. Um, actually, yeah, I'm going to make it so it can't take reactions until the end of my next turn. Oh, okay, this is your key. Yeah, Shelly and this is part of Flurry of Blows. I mean, yeah, and then I make another unarmed strike against... Let's go with that one then. So, no reactions. No reactions, and I make another unarmed strike against the one next to me, attacking me even. Okay. Yeah, Sadly, you miss. You launch out your palm, you just hit it like square in the helm, it just doesn't go anywhere. Okay. I said to Jin, alright, yeah, fair enough, we're gonna leave. <laughs> Actually, no, I mean, we did <coughs> smack that one pretty nicely. Yeah, I mean, yeah, this it's... one's all sorts of wang up. Will. Jin, you retreat if need be. So hang back and throw daggers. Either way, it's your go, Jinsuku. So I could retreat and then both attack Taurus or. Ow. Oh. Wow. You can kill that one, dude. Yeah, that's what I mean. Might as well just carry on. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll be lost yeah, one I mean, if you get the hit, you get the, the sneak attack damage, which is probably going to save you. It's true. I'm so oh, yay, uh, 22 is indeed a hit, so it takes 7 points of slashing damage. Um, does that get a, any additional because obviously the assassins? Uh, no, it's not so much the assassin, it's your sneak attack for being a rogue because you have an ally within 5 feet. Oh, 1 damage. Precisely enough. Oh, damn. Oh. And I do mean precisely, you knock it exactly to zero. And they rape you. Aha! I, I, I pull the rapier through the ice lit of the mask. But it just it wouldn't do. It doesn't it doesn't even have a head. I know. I thought. Actually no, it's that it's that little gem. Where's the gem? On them. They don't uh, have they, gems. they don't Where's have the gem. gem. They don't have All the gem. Like the full <coughs> suit minus the gem in the helm. Alright, I somehow knock its head off. Either way, you knock its head off and the entire thing just collapses into a heap. A loud heap. Oh, um, very loud heat. I'm pretty sure we're actually um, past the loudness by now. Yeah, I'm sure somebody's probably trim. on the outside of that door knocking. Hello! Well, what? I was going to say, Shinju, Trim, and Bob all need to make perception checks because it's quite audible, this sound of clattering okay. armour. Because it, it's full, full play. Okay, so perception? Indeed. Oh, oh yes, I definitely heard that. God damn it, Ed, why do you have to eat such loud food? 
I apologize. I'll mute myself. Ah. That's ah. Ah. Sorry. You need to do perception. Okay. <coughs> Thank you for saying that. I thought Christy dropped. I've been dropped. so lost, to be fair, in amongst what's been happening. I have gathered what's happening. You've been fighting, but it's sort of been sort of. Am I part of it or am I not? You're not really, but um, you may be in a minute. It depends how this perception goes. Oh, perception, not, not initiative. Hang yeah, on. Perception. Okay, uh, we'll just quickly jump to you guys as you're doing whatever, mingling, chatting. Meanwhile, eating. elsewhere. <laughs> yeah, meanwhile, in the other room, like we cut to you guys, you're happily eating and chattering away and then suddenly you hear this almighty loud clatter of steel hit a stone floor the music stops everybody gasps as if to go oh, what was that the silver bastion on the wall haven't moved none of them are collapsing still standing as they were and uh lord cranbrook goes excuse me ladies and gentlemen i must go and see to the nuisance Quickly, get in his way. Shinju! Cast right. a gesture on him! Get in I the way. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so if I stand up all of a sudden and... Well, use... a lot of people like in shock, so you can do it without drawing too much attention. Yeah. Um, how does suggestion work? Do I literally just sort of say something? It needs to be no longer than two sentences. That's all suggestion. So what's your suggestion going to be? Suggestion that the new mayor does a speech on his latest plans for the village. <laughs> okay, I need to make a DC 13 wisdom saving throw. This could be good. God, DC 13. Yeah, this is for me. Uh, it's about 50-50 for him. Oh. Your eyes How, how do I do DC 13? No, no, he no, doesn't need to do anything. That's right. a D. Yeah, right, it, 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 it's the creature itself has to make the saving throw. Uh, your eyes he and your hands it. glow with this arcane energy to try and put the suggestion oh. in his head of... Oh, God. Stay, keep talking, we want to hear more. He stops briefly for a second, looks towards you, and just keeps walking out the room. Oh, they found some gurgy things that they could lock the doors, fuck. And I need you guys to also roll an initiative, and we'll take a break. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so be sure to like, favorite, and subscribe to know how this all turns out, because this is going to be pure chaos for the next, like, 20 minutes, I think. I'll see you guys then.